Welcome everyone. Now here we have a problem in game theory that requires us to determine the optimum strategy for two players A and B and also to find the value of the game. Now when you talk about game theory we are simply referring to a situation whereby two or more players but in most cases two players try to make the optimum decision that will enable them to outdo the other player or the other opponent in their competition and then it means we have two uh, uh, circumstances of, of strategy or the types of strategy in game theory we have pure strategy and mixed strategy now before i explain this one i want us to clarify something here when you have two players and in these these are play a pay of matrix the data here is a pay of matrix representation and you normally have the player on the left playing the rows that is the horizontal while the player on the top playing the columns in most cases those are where there are chances of outdoing the other uh, the other comp component uh, or uh, the other opponent sorry will lie on now when you talk about pure strategy we are referring to uh, a particular player, let's say in this case player A, playing the whole rows solely without player B playing any particular sector in those rows. Or player B playing the columns without involving player A. What about make strategy? It is whereby both players chooses to play a particular row interchangeably let's say player a plays 50 percent of row one and player b 50 percent of the same same row one also they they share the column and all that now how will you know that a, 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 that a game is a pure strategy or a mixed strategy now these they are the guidance so these are this is how to do it in pure strategy we normally have what is called a saddle point but in a mixed strategy there is no saddle point no saddle point when we talk about saddle saddle point we are referring to that position in a pay of matrix whether it is two all the way up to nine we are going to find out that that position in the pay of matrix such that the elements in the row are minimum and the elements in the column are minimum the intersection of the elements in the row and the intersection of the elements in the column we are going to see how to do about that and that position is what is going to give us the value of the game now what is value of the game value of the game is the average of the payoffs that gives an optimum strategy by each player after playing for an extended period of time let's say if this player chooses to play this game for one hour it means that after that one hour we are, we are supposed to get the average of the playoffs which will give the optimum strategy for each player so we are, we are going to, I want us to now to go to the sector of determining the saddle point. Let us just copy paste the question 2, negative 5, 1, negative 8. We have 3, negative 1, 4, 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 7, 0, 4, negative 7, 3, negative 9. Now we have the matrix they have player a and player b now the first step i said for getting the saddle point is to get the minimum the row minimum so the row minimum and the column maximum so the row minimum here like in this row the smallest value is negative eight here we have negative one here we have negative 7 and here we have negative 9 which is the smallest 
Second step after getting the raw minimum is you get the maximum or the minimum. Like the maximum value here is negative 1. So this one becomes the maxi min. Maxi min means the maximum or the minimums. Okay. Then what about the maximum values in the column? Here we have 4 is the maximum. So now we have 4 is the maximum. Maximum here is negative 1. Here we have 3 is the maximum. Then here we have 2. Then after getting the maximum of the column, we get the, no, it is now the opposite. The minimum of the maximum. In this case, the minimum is negative 1. So it becomes the minimum of the maximum. That is the mini, minimax. Then, for, you to, for, for us to get the saddle point, we get the point of intersection between the maximum and the minimax. Like in this case, we have this row where the row of the maximum, maximum and the column of the what? Of the minimax. This point here is the saddle point. So in other words, from this equation, it means that our saddle point, our saddle point is, we quote the row. Now the row is row 2, row 2, what about the column? Column 2, fan 2, column 2. But now because we are supposed to find the, the value of the game, the value of the game we said value of the game is supposed to be equal to the cell location cell location of saddle point and in this case the cell location of row 2 column 2 is negative 1 so the value of the game here is negative 1 from this particular case then now, uh, we now go to the optimum strategy for the two players. Now, let us see what player one will do. As in, which best option should player one, player A take? Now, for player A, the best option that he's supposed to take is row two. The maximum is in row two, this value here. So, it's supposed to be row two. Or you simply write... You give it this way how many rows do we have we have four rows one two three four okay then the maximum is found in the second row so it means the first value will be zero one zero zero that is for zero zero and zero then what about the the best strategy for uh, for player b supposed to be column 2 it's supposed to play column 2 which is the same as how do we put columns it is column 2 the first one will be 0 1 0 0 that is how we put our answers and I want to give now the correct values now because we said that player A normally plays the rows it means any negative value along the rows is a loss to player A. A negative value along the column again is a loss to player A. So in other words, the optimal strategy for both players is negative 1 and negative 1 because along the row, negative 1 is a loss to this one. B is supposed to be winning on the column but now we have a negative in the cell location of the saddle point so it means it is negative 1. So B employs what is known as Mark mini mini max strategies while a employs what is known as maximum maximum strategy for them to uh, to outdo the other in the game please don't forget to subscribe if you find